Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create the sub menu and how we can add the content to the article so that it can be displayed on the page. So so far we have uh, created the menu and uh, we have uh, created the article and linked all together each menu which e each article we have linked. Now let us see how we can create sub menu and how we can add the content to the article. So let's start now. Uh, I am in the page of uh, admin of my website and I will log in with my user ID and password which will take me directly inside the admin page. And here I have to follow the same process as we followed in the previous video that uh, if you have to create the menu so suppose these are my menus and now I want to create uh, the sub menu for example I want to create the uh, sub menu of library resources so what could be the library resources it will be books it will be uh, audio visuals and then e-resources these are my sub menus and the databases for example I am taking four and when I take the library services so I am going to take as circulation this is uh, one service e-newsletter then new arrival and then uh, photocopying or reprography you can write I am just giving the example so you can understand and then uh, for example uh, if you want to get about library so here also you can give for example timings library timings then uh, library rules okay so I have to make these as a sub menu so as I told you earlier that whatever the menus you are creating it has to be linked with the pages or the article you can see here so the same concept applies here these you can consider as sub menu but to link with this page link with the page you have to create one page so create the pages with the same name what you have created the sub menu here so that it will be easy to link uh, while adding uh, some menu to your page so let's go and start uh, the creating the article first and then we'll create the sub menu and add or each article to the sub menus so my first article is going to be library timings okay I'm going to take here as a library timing library timing and then I'll click on save and new and the second one will be the library rules likewise I'll create all the articles one by one the third one will be books and likewise I'll create all one by one so you can see I have created all the articles on uh, now let's go and uh, add the these articles to the menus so click on menus main menus and uh, click on new and see your structure first uh, where you are going to add the sub menu so I have to add uh, two articles to two sub menus under about library so the first and sub menu will be the library timings so I'll take as a library timing okay and then I'll choose the menu type this will be my single article and then I'll choose my article always remember here there are three steps the first one you have to enter the title second you have to select the menu type and third you have to link the your uh, created article 
library timings and uh, now you have to add under which menu you want to keep it as a sub menu so you have to choose from the parent item the menu and this particular main sub menu will be the part of this menu and the last option is you have to hide all the option so that it will not show the unwanted information which is not required so likewise you clean everything okay so I have cleaned uh, means uh, set the information not to be displayed on the page and then likewise I'll create one by one all the sub menus okay so I have created all these sub menus here and now let's go and see just refresh the page refresh the page and you will see the all these sub menus created here you see library resources about library and library services okay uh, this has come in this so we have to change okay all the library resources library services sub menu has been created okay so now we will see if you click on every item you will see that it is opening the page of that particular sub menu so in this way you can create the sub menu and you can add the information accordingly okay now we will see how we can add the information to any article and that is very simple uh, you have to go to the particular article which you have created just go to content go to article and it will display all the articles which you have created so for an example I have to write something on the home page so I have to open that particular page and below that it will show you the WIS IWIG editor that is what you see is what you get editor with all the icons on the top and menu also so suppose anything you can write like greetings from D. Pitrapati and below that welcome to my website welcome to my website and uh, this website is the outcome of my work related to library and hope this will be useful for you all for example something you write about library or something welcome message later we'll dis we'll see that how we can add some other module and we'll display the information here and bottom you can write thanks dp Tripathi, like that you can add the content and suppose you want to add any image so you can add the image here uh, you can add directly from here if you know the source or you can click on this media and you can select from here so you can add the image add the link whatever you want what you do in the word file or any other file you can keep adding the content like this and finally when you save it save and close then it will display the information here when you click on home button so it will start displaying the information on the first page of your website you can see here greetings from DP Tripathi welcome to my website so likewise you can add the information to all the sub menus by going each article and adding the content 
so I hope I have been able to make you understand how to create the sub menu and add the content to each article uh, when we discuss in detail I will be showing you some more detail how you can add the advanced content inside the article thanks for watching this video and in next video we are going to see that how we can install the module and how we can set the module to display at the different location in the website